Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about Fear the Walking Dead Season 6 and a brand new extended trailer that we got. I'm very excited uh, to talk about this. Uh, season 6 has been really amazing to say the least. Um, each and every single episode has been really good so I'm really excited for it. Timeline wise it makes sense for them to be dropping this trailer now as this show will be returning in like two months. Um, like right after the six episodes for The Walking Dead. But because we have those extra six episodes coming up and, um, you know, like a bunch of Walking Dead marketing, I just completely was not expecting this trailer. But when you think about it, it makes sense for it to come out around this time. But that being said, we're going to go through it, break it down, um, and talk about some of the, um, you know, interesting stuff. It is an extended trailer, so there's going to be some stuff that we've seen before, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk too much about those stuff you've seen before, just the new stuff uh, and the new character. Uh, played by John Glover, who um, is really interesting. And we get some dialogue from Alicia. Um, from we have a shot of Strand here and uh, Daniel. Daniel, I remember he is also working with, or not with, but he's working for Virginia. And I think, you know, I think Virginia is going to figure out something's happening. I'm a little worried for Daniel, and you'll see what I mean in a second. We have a shot of John here. He is in like some sort of abandoned gas station. Remember, he's by himself. So uh, he left. But I think Morgan will go back for him because that's what, you know, he did for Morgan when Morgan was having a tough time. So I'm sure Morgan will do the same. He comes across this barrier with a bunch of walkers. Uh, we have Morgan here. A shot of Morgan. A uh, shot of Alicia. We have Dwight here. And then we have a shot of June. I think she's hurt or something like that. Like this shot kind of has like this almost vertigo effect or something where she's sort of i wouldn't say hallucinating but sort of dozing off um so maybe she got injured uh and then i want to talk about this scene before we get to the lineup which seems to be like the big i don't know if it's a big moment i hope i mean it kind of looks like it's gonna be the big moment of um the show or at least like a big moment of the show uh which kind of makes me worried but speaking of john and morgan so you can see here that Morgan goes after John and John kind of like pushes him back and says, stop. Morgan says, get off me. And John says, that was not your choice to make. So he clearly wants to be left alone. When he says that was not your choice to make, I think he might be calling for help or something like that. Because you can see that he has like a, I think he has a radio in his hand. Um, and I, you can't tell because of the frames. It goes by real quick. But he clearly just wants to be left alone. I'm sure he's going to be okay though. You know, I'm sure he'll come back and I'm sure he's going to be with the group. Um, I'm sure he's going to reunite with June. Uh, the show has done a really good job of making the character arcs interesting. Also, the story is also really great. The villain is great. You know, like everything's really good. So I'm excited for this. Um, but yeah, I'm interested in seeing, you know, how where the individual stories will go. Like John, for, uh, for example, and, you know, June, will they reunite? Was June's reaction going to be, you know, to John leaving? All these kind of stuff. All right, so let's get into the lineup. So the lineup seems to be pretty intense. So we have a shot of Luciana here, and you can see it just totally gives, you know, like Negan and Savior vibes. Like we have a bunch of people pointing weapons out of them. They're all on their knees. Like there's not much they can do. You can see here that, you know, uh, um, Virginia is pointing a gun at Daniel and you can see that big gash on his forehead so I think she hit him or something like that and again remember he is her hairdresser so I think I don't know if I, I don't know if a strand is gonna throw him under the bus or what but she somehow becomes suspicious of him uh, but she doesn't become suspicious of of strand which is weird um, because look at this you can see strand here and he's free he's just walking like he's walking like he's one of the rangers and he's done a pretty good job of playing you know both sides and you know hopping around and proving himself good to her but that makes me wonder like why does she believe strand and not daniel like what does daniel do or maybe he doesn't do anything maybe he gets thrown under the bus or something like that we'll see but yeah that is interesting so strand is like you know he's just walking around um, everyone else is on their knees. You got Daniel, you got Luciana, you got Sarah. This is what I mean. Like, how is someone going to get out of this situation? I have a pretty good idea, like a pretty good guess, which I'll get to in a second. But here's that shot of Virginia. She's pointing the gun um, at Daniel. The trailer definitely makes it seem like, you know, it's going to be Daniel. But maybe it's going to be nobody. But again, it's, you know, 
the show, the thing about Fear the Walking Dead is that they took out like major characters super quickly, right? Like they took out Travis and then Madison and then Nick or Nick and then Madison. So like they took out these characters super quickly, these major characters. But like the core group that got introduced in season four, like for the most part, they have been good. So all I'm saying is that I wouldn't be surprised if somebody does end up, you know, getting killed um, this season or this half season. I'm not saying it's going to be Daniel. The trailer maybe wants us to think it's Daniel, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's somebody. We have a shot of Grace here also. Uh, so remember, that was the big reveal in the mid-season finale. Uh, so really interested in seeing where that's going to go. I don't think it's going to be her. I don't think you're going to introduce her and, you know, just kill her or anything like that. And then I'm really excited to see that also, like Morgan, because it's been a while since Morgan and her have been together. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool to see once Morgan finds that out. I'm sure it's going to make him work even harder to, you know, uh, fight back if they fight back. And I say if, because I still think the end is the beginning. People might be like the biggest villains and they might have to even have to work together. I don't know. I'll talk about it in a second when we, t when we get to that part of the trailer, but, um, because the end is the beginning people don't seem to or like Virginia and them don't seem to really like them either so it's going to be like three different groups fighting against each other or will Virginia and Morgan have to team up we'll see you guys let me know what you think so I know the lineup makes it seem very hopeless but there is a possibility that they'll be okay because we have this shot of it looks like they're in Lawton. You can see that Virginia, I think, is trying to get into the car. Someone is driving away. That guy who we've seen a couple times. And there was some sort of fire. I think it might be like an explosion. And I think this is where Dwight and Alicia or Dwight and Althea and the people with the mask, their group, maybe they come in and help out. Maybe they do some sort of distraction or something like that. Because we also have this scene um, where some of the Rangers start firing, which isn't a good thing. But then we cut to Daniel and like he falls back, someone grabs him and it looks like everyone is just sort of like running around. And you can see in the back there that there's some sort of a light. So that's why I think that maybe uh, Dwight and them, uh, uh, they're, they're going to, you know, do something to help out and, you know, solve the situation. Kind of reminds me a little bit of how the kingdom came and saved Rick and Carl. So maybe it's going to be something like that. And then speaking of Dwight and them, so we have Dwight and Althea here. So they're on top of this building. She has a sniper. And I think that's what they're trying to do. I think they're trying to uh, ambush uh, the Rangers. And then we have a shot of Sherry with the mask. And then we have, uh, they have Althea's truck. And we have a bunch of people with the masks on. So I think they, they will come in to help. And then before we get to the end is the beginning, people, I want to talk about this. So we have this scene of, it looks like there's going to be some Rangers um, who are coming to this place. And this was where Isaac and Morgan went in episode one. Um, and then Rachel, his wife, is also there, and Morgan has been helping out, remember? And the baby is also there. Morgan's been bringing them things. And I think the group might, like, hold out there. Like, here we have Grace and Charlie. Now, Grace, I, it's hard to tell if this is before or after the lineup scene, because this could, this could easily be before, and the Rangers can come and take all of them back to Lawton, and that's where we get the lineup. Or it could be after, and they escape. Um, it's just it's pretty much impossible to tell but I do think that the group will be holding out there you know just in the meantime while they're trying to figure things out but I'm again I'm sure the Rangers will come after them but that being said let's go ahead and talk about the end of the beginning people because so we have a couple things throughout the trailer that I think they're included with this is the first one we have this walker who is like you know um, has a bunch of leaves and trees and you know vines and stuff like that growing around them and this is because of the end is the beginning people i think they're the ones who are doing these weird things with the walkers like here's a shot of luciana and the group and you can see there's a bunch of walkers who are tied up and they have you know like their mouths like sewn together or something like that i don't know like remember remember we had those walkers with the blades underneath the fingernails like they're doing weird things to walkers so i think this is definitely the end of the beginning and man, they are such an interesting group. Um, and then let's get to that end scene where we have John Glover's character, who I don't think they've given us a name yet, unless I don't know it and they have given the name. But as far as I know, there is no name for his character. But let me go ahead and read what he said. So I believe this is them meeting each other. And his dialogue is pretty much going on throughout the whole trailer. He's like, 
Death, destruction, decay. What's happening to the world isn't new. The world has been breaking down since its inception. Everything is winding down, including us. Death is inevitable, but from this death comes new life. And then Alicia says, so you're a king of the crazies. And then he responds by saying, and you are Alicia. I've been looking for someone like you for a long, long time. So I guess they're calling them crazies now, probably based on what they're doing to these walkers. Because yeah, it's it's a little bit, you know, crazy. You can see that he has like a suit on and Alicia just looks like absolutely like, you know, pissed off. But what do you guys think he means by uh, you are some, I've been looking for someone like you for a long, long time. Is it just him trying to like compliment her? Like, you know, someone who's brave and strong. What do you guys think? With the end is the beginning, people, the theories and, uh, you know, ideas could be anywhere. So I just don't, I don't want to sit here and just come up with random theories. But I do think they're going to be the main villains of the group. Um, and that's what I meant earlier, because not even like it seems like Virginia is even bothered by them. Because remember, they were painting this stuff, you know, on their oil field. So that's what I mean. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe some of the Rangers and, you know, Alicia and Morgan and them, they have to team up and fight against the end of the beginning people. Or maybe the end of the beginning people aren't even villains. Maybe they have their own purpose and they're just trying, I don't know, some philosophy that they're trying to spread around. What do you guys think? Um, very, very excited to say the least because I think they've done a great job. I mean, the main story with the with the Rangers are great, but then they've they've sprinkled on this other story with the end of the beginning people, which just makes this season really exciting. So we still have to wait a while, you know, but I'm sure it's going to come quick, especially since we're going to be having The Walking Dead returning in just a week. So very, very exciting stuff or a little bit over a week, fe February 28th. But I'm going to leave it off there. That was the trailer we got. Let me know what you think about all this. I wanted to highlight some of the newer stuff. So let me know what you think about that lineup. What do you think is going to happen? And let me know what you think about the end of the beginning, people. But yeah, as far as this video goes, I am going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. Again, for more Walking Dead videos, I just be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Please take care, and I'll see you guys soon.